Hey guys, I'm Noah from BlazeKick.com here with Tyler and Armando, um, and we are here today taking a quick look at this new piece of artwork for The Legend of Zelda Fuyu, which at this point seems to be official, because this piece of art was posted on the official uh, Amazon page for The Legend of Zelda for Wii U, so it's fair to assume that this is official artwork based on the game. Uh, and we're going to run through some details with that were very interesting, so you guys can understand what to be excited about, or not. Um, so right off the bat, on the right side of the picture, we have Link. Uh, and what is he doing, guys? He is rock climbing. Um, that, oh, yeah, that's that's definitely first. Link usually has a bit of trouble climbing. He can only climb blocks that are about as tall as he is. Um, he can't even no jump more. regularly. Yeah. Uh, I would not be surprised to see a jump in this game. Um, like, a, yeah. you know, jump at any time. I mean, he just recently learned how to sprint, so... True. Um, but anyway, so Link is clearly scaling this cliff. It's hard to tell if he has any special gloves on. I don't think he does. Looks like he's doing it with his bare hands, which is interesting. Of course, looks he's like got he just his... has arm wraps. Mm -hmm. That's about it. Um, and it looks like he's got his sword, shield, and arrows along his back, so nothing new there. Um, so rock climbing will probably be a big mechanic. They've talked a lot about traversal in this game, so we you know you'll be able to climb up mountains and now jump down them with your uh, sail cloth. Um, and as for the scenery. If we're not mistaken, it looks like we can see two separate castles, uh, both on the left side of this artwork, one of which looks very dark and evil with some smoke coming up. It's a red castle. The other looks smaller. We think it's, you know, more looks good, if you will. Um, like, a, like a mansion or something? Right. And it looks like it's surrounded by maybe some kind of a wall. Maybe it's Donald Trump's house. Um, <laughs> um, so two castles, interesting. I don't think we've ever seen two castles in a Zelda world before. Am I mistaken there? Only I mean, the closest, I think the closest we've ever gotten to that is temples. Right. Like in Zelda 2, but that's mm -hmm. about it. And in Ocarina of Time, though, what about, like, Ganon's castle thing? Like, did he invade Hyrule Castle and make it funny? Was that what happened? Uh, like, Ganon, Ganon took over Hyrule Castle. Okay, got it. So there was only ever one castle there. Yeah. Um, which, so th that's an interesting detail, if we're seeing that correctly. We can also see towers uh, scattered here, two or three of them, we can see, which I thought strongly resemble Master Swords. Um, yeah. yeah, and or just some sort of sword. And again, we think we saw this in the Game Awards footage where um, Aonuma and Shigeru Miyamoto placed a beacon near a tower. It looks like the same type of tower. So we imagine those will play an important role, maybe like in Assassin's Creed, where it helps you unlock parts of the map, or it'll probably serve a different function. But um, we know those towers are probably going to play an important role. And of course, in the very back, Death Mountain, um, Tyler and it was giving off a great deal of smoke. Um, definitely seems like there will be a lot more detail in the environment this time around. And uh, the last major thing we noticed is that this seems to play take place during Sunrise, which I think we also saw Sunrise during the Game Awards footage. Um, there was something going Maybe. on with this. Song. I think th they think they very briefly touched on the idea of a day-night cycle. Mm -hmm. So it seems like that cycle will definitely be here, and it's, I have a feeling it's going to look absolutely beautiful in this game. Um, it's yeah. sort of, you know, there's this pink light sort of cast across the land, and I think it looks gorgeous. Um, okay. And as Tyler noted, this is a very unique style. Tyler, what did you think about this hand-drawn style? Uh, it's very reminiscent of um, using charcoal blocks to draw, or um, a very thick brush. Uh, it's It's definitely not... It's definitely not pencil drawing with this, or at the very least, it's not uh, entirely pencil drawing. It, the, the the detail is in the um, is in the amount of stuff that you see in the art, and not the minute detail. Right, exactly. And I'm surprised to not see a forest. Um, yeah. I, I I touched on this a little bit before, but uh, this has a this has a reminiscence to me that draws a comparison to the original Zelda map, where there was very little forest in the original Zelda map. It was a lot of arid, uh, craggy mountain-looking areas and a very small amount of green forest uh, at the very south end of the map. Well, most of it was mountain and desert. And uh, this looks kind of like that. You see a lot of mountain. You see a decent amount of, like, cragginess to it and a very small amount of plains. So I don't know if they're drawing comparisons or drawing... Um, parallels to the original Zelda map uh, for this design choice, but uh, that's what I'm getting from this art. I personally, I didn't find the rock climbing to be a huge surprise, just because we know there's going to be so many mountains. I thought the dual castles were more surprising, but again, that's assuming both structures are castles. That's the one thing we're not positive about here. Um, I mean, they sure look like castles to me, but 
I'm not really sure why there would be two. Maybe there's two conflicting groups of people. And there's going to be some sort of war. Who knows? Just speculation on my part. Could be, um, it could be kind of like A Link to the Past as well, because your uncle's house was like down the street from the castle. Right, yeah. Um, so maybe Link has a pimped out mansion. Who knows? Yeah, <laughs> that could, yeah that could be that. it. From, um, rich, from, <laughs> from riches to hero. Yep. Um, and I think that's about all we have to say. Does anyone else have any final comments? Oh yeah, I mean we we did they did talk about they did talk about adding a lot of mobility to it, and we saw that from the VGA gameplay as well, where you could bound off of uh, your horse and uh, enter mm-hmm. like a slow mo shot mode and everything. Like arrow, the, mobility arrow seems to be mobility seems to be the focus of a lot of games I've noticed. Monster Hunter recently added a lot of mobility and verticality options, um, and uh, it doesn't look like this is much different. Where they're they're deciding to make movement the way to go for any semblance of exploration. Like, if you want to go, you just go, and you have the abilities to do all sorts of things, like climb mountains, uh, jump, <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, run. It's, it, seems like, it seems like that's their focus. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I think that's about it for this piece of artwork. Um, just wanted to give you guys an overview of what we thought and what we saw. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to check out all of our E3 coverage, including our E3 live coverage on twitch.tv slash blazekicklive. Um, be sure to follow us on Twitter. At blazekicktweet, we have our individual accounts as well. I'm Dashy007. I'm Replay Ty Heretic. And we will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>